for another edition of the MSG 150 Final. We got a lot to talk about. Did you happen to see Mika's magic last night for the Rangers? It was unforgettable. Five goals we will revisit. Also ahead, Yanks and Mets. Take a look at the possible starting lineups, and the Yankees got injury problems again. We're going to give out our NBA awards to this point in the regular season and favorite songs as we wrap up Music Week right here. Michelle Jingris, John Wallace, Alan Hahn. How's everybody doing tonight? How we doing? Doing good. 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 It's, Friday it's, night? It's, it's raining out, though, Bill. Are you okay? Well, I know it, you get... No, I'm, I'm I mean, not okay. Did you drive or did you take the I'm, train? Like, the problem is just trying to walk with you across the street, given the height differential, I holding up the umbrella. I wish they got that, that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> he was kind enough because it was raining. We go back and forth when yeah. it's a game at home. Didn't work out. He had an umbrella for you? He had an umbrella, and he goes, you want you know, you want to come under the umbrella. So I said, sure. <laughs> and I, like, he's holding the umbrella like regular, and I'm all like this, like all hunched over. But John, so, yeah, so. even at its highest point, it was not high enough to cover you. That was a moment. No, I don't. That was a moment. We're like out of foot difference, right? <laughs> like Mary Poppins. All the time go fly away. <laughs> all right. But it was nice deep. of you to keep right, me dry. I'm a, I'm a nice teammate. Now, yeah, across the street, teammate. last night, Mika Zibanejad, Amazing. Let us begin with the calls last night from Sam Rosen and Kenny Albert. D'Angelo looks toward the net. Beats Panarin for the shot. Score! Deflected in! Off of Mika Zibanejad! Zibanejad along the boards. Taken to the ice and a penalty coming up against Kuznetsov. The late call. Fox with the puck for the Rangers along the blue line to the far circle. Shot. Score! Zibanejad again! Giveaway to put in front. Score! It's a hat trick for Mika Zibanejad! Taken away by Kako. Two on two. Kako down the left wing. Big drive. Stop. Rebound. Score! Zibanejad, his fourth of the night! And Aaron up the middle. Zibanejad. He goes to the net. What great calls by our guys, Sam Rosen yeah. and Kenny Albert. So Zibanej had third Ranger guys in history to score five goals in a game. They win a game that they have to have. And what's interesting is the way Mika Zibanejad has kind of evolved here. Because the trade for Derek Broussard at the time, you're like, guys, I don't know about Zibanejad. If he's got the focus, you know, he kind of underachieved with Ottawa. Mm -hmm. But I tell you, John, you talk about athletes who have gotten better. He has always been pretty good as a Ranger, but now he is elite. How Absolutely. difficult is it to make that transition from really good to elite? Well, it's all about the work that you put in. He's in the confidence starts to grow as you start to get more opportunity to play. But anytime you're mentioned in the same breath as Wayne Gretzky scoring five goals in one game, then you're definitely doing something right. Just like in basketball, if you're mentioning the breath of and the ilk of Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan and LeBron, that means you're doing something right. So to be mentioned along those great guys is just incredible. He's definitely doing something right. Yeah, I mean, he's on a tear, and he's done so. I think he has 38 goals, and he's done it in 54 games. He missed 13 games with a neck injury, but I think this more just speaks volumes of, you know, Kreider goes out, the team's a little shell-shocked, you can tell, uh, some adversity thrown their way, and then Zabinijad has kind of assumed this role. Mm -hmm. He's playing hard. They're playing the Capitals. It's a must-win game for the Rangers in this situation. Really, every game now is a must-win game if they want to oh, make yeah. it to the playoffs. And I think, you know, as he plays, the team will play. Like, he is proving himself as a leader right now on this on this roster for all these young guys. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's been really, really fun to watch. What you love about him, too, is after the game, how he just, he was so humble about it. Oh, the puck found me. Mm -hmm. I mean, you saw the highlights there. I mean, there were a couple of bounces went his way, and a lot of things were just great plays by teammates. Panarin with an amazing pass for the overtime goal, but also Fox keeping it in there at the blue line and then leading to the one-timer goal that he had as well. Him crediting his teammates, it just shows you what type of personality he is. The crediting, I feel, is like very hockey in general, right? Yeah. Like, but, but I agree with you completely. Like, this room is really special. Mm -hmm. The way they talk about one mm -hmm. another in, it, before a win or a after a win or a loss, like, they are so highly complimentary of each other. I think Panarin called him a beautiful player all around. <laughs> and he said, but he said he's naming all his accolades and all the things he does well. But he's like, what I like most about him is that he's a really good guy. And I'm like, that's... 
This is great. Oh, and they all hit thing. on him. Like, did you see that last yeah. time? They were hiding in the yeah. back when yeah. he came Mika's out. Mika Zavanajad was talking to Dave Maloney, and they exited the locker room. So when Mika went into the locker room, there wasn't anybody there. But uh, <laughs> obviously they came back in to celebrate. Standings. Islander fan, Alan Hahn, what do you have here, my friend? Because here <coughs> well, come the Rangers. Listen, Barry Trotz said Two this morning, out. Islanders coach Barry Trotz said, you know what, I woke up this morning and we're still in the playoffs. So despite the struggles of late for them, they are still there. But the Rangers are closing in and they are closing in fast. Look at that, within two points. I, I believe they, they have the tiebreaker with over Columbus and the Islanders, I'm pretty sure as well. The Rangers do. So yeah. if it was a tie going in, yeah. they have the tiebreaker. Yeah, I believe they, they still the have a game spot. in hand, at least one game in hand too, as well. Yeah. There, which you want to keep an eye on. But it's getting close now to the finish Their line. Schedule's and not it's getting real easier. tight. Speaking of the schedule, big game tomorrow night: Rangers Devils on our family of networks, MSG Plus, MSG pregame 6:30 game at seven. Next week for the Rangers guys, they're going west. Oh. Dallas and Colorado are good, and Arizona also is someone to watch uh, next week. So those are concerns. And then you have uh, next week with Pittsburgh. Uh, the next week I want to mention, just to clarify, it's Dallas, Colorado, and the 14th is not New Jersey. It <laughs> is at Arizona. Yeah, so that's about to that. clarify that West Coast. And the game against Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh game too. Yeah. next week, week after, they have three games against Pittsburgh the rest of the season. Yeah, yeah. and that's important too. That's big. I mean, that's a, that's a really good team as well. But But... This is what you love if you're if you're David Quinn, if you're the Rangers, the Rangers fans, and Jeff Gordon, the great job that they have done to, to rebuild this thing so quickly, is that you didn't expect this and you're in it. And I don't know, is this am I crazy to think in a weird way it's like house money? Like it you're is. in it now, yeah. and this is great experience, and if they don't make it, it's still been you now have momentum to next season, regardless of how this season ends. Oh, you want it. You want to go for it. I'm not saying that you can rest on your laurels. Yeah. But the point is, though, am I crazy to think you're in that bit of house money moment right now? John, is it important for young players like this to get this experience now, to Absolutely. play in basically must-win games at this point in their career? Absolutely. Plus, it, it, it drives you for the summertime when, when you got to go and get to exactly. work. Because when you, when you come up short, like, not saying they're going to come up short, but if you do come up short... It drives you the whole summer to work as hard as you can so you don't have that feeling again the following season. Also amazing, Shesterkin back already, too. Oh, Potentially yeah. could start. Look really good in practice today. David Quinn says there's a chance he's back tomorrow night in the starter's net. And Shesterkin, to this point, is 9-1. and one. Again, Devils Rangers tomorrow night. We got it covered for you on our family of networks beginning at 6.30 tomorrow night. All right, up next, we're talking baseball. What in the world with the Yankees? Another <laughs> injury. MRI, CAT scan, see what is this? In the tube, get a body tube, diagnosis, whatever. <laughs>